Thank you, Mr. Toastmaster. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and guests. And of course, uh, hello to Catherine. Catherine's introduced herself to, to all of us here tonight, and my, uh, my the objective is here to give my evaluation of her icebreaker. The nice thing, Catherine, you had an opportunity to see is that Linda has acknowledged two folks here that have gone on to get their tenth speech, and as you can see, she's referred back to those icebreakers. So you certainly make an impression anytime an icebreaker is delivered at any Toastmaster uh, meeting. So uh, Catherine did a, first of all, a, a, an excellent job about talking about herself. Now, if you notice when she first came up here, this is maybe I am right now, you're a little bit nervous. And I knew that Catherine was a little bit nervous to deliver the speech just based on the short conversation we had prior to the meeting. But as soon as she was able to take a deep breath and realize that she was up here to talk about the thing that she knows best, which is about herself, everything fell into place for Catherine. At least that was my observation. I don't know if Catherine would say the same, but at least sitting in the audience, I felt as though Catherine completely became at ease with the experience of delivering her ice speaker speech to all of us tonight. She had a really interesting opening. One of the objectives that all of us as Toastmasters need to learn is the idea of creating structure to our speeches, and I think Catherine did that wonderfully. She, first of all, lays out to us that she was going to share a little bit about what makes her unique, what makes her interesting, and something personal that we all can relate to. So certainly she had good structure to the speech today that we could uh, pay close attention to. I thought Catherine also did a great job with eye contact. I hope that all of you in the room here would agree. That's not always the easiest thing for the first speech for any Toastmaster. And I thought Catherine, once she got through the, the fact that here she was talking about herself, the eye contact, I think, came very naturally. As you saw her deliver a little bit about her upbringing and the family and the outlaws and the 52 cousins, I mean, she was just, she could have been having a one-on-one -on -one conversation, but yet here she was speaking to a room of 18 or 20 of us. That's how natural the speech was to her. Now, Catherine also weaved in the theme tonight, which was to never give up. And she did that, as I could see, mostly with the third part of her speech, which was when she related this personal story about hitting the age of 30 and realizing that she had never pursued her college degree, and then she went on to go and get her, her engineering degrees. I thought that was a wonderful use of bringing the theme back. Now, if, if Catherine was to deliver the speech again, here are just some things that certainly I would recommend. Now, again, first speech, the objective here is just to get through it. So let's put that aside, and Catherine did that wonderfully. But again, if you were to deliver the speech again, just here are a few ideas that you might want to consider. The first thing is somebody once, a long time ago, when I first joined Toastmasters, told me this, that you should, as a speech, as a person giving a speech, you never have to thank the audience. The audience should essentially always be kind of thanking you for speaking. And I think you finished the speech tonight saying thank you for their time. Uh -huh. I mean, we're all appreciative of you standing up here and sharing your stories with us. In Toastmasters, we all start, uh, again, saying fellow Toastmasters and guests, I think you refer to the audience as ladies and gentlemen, so that's a small thing to clean up. And the final piece that I would recommend, maybe, is that, is again, when you brought, when you talked a little bit about flying the airplane, there might have been a bit of opportunity there to have a little bit more language to get us actually feeling as if we were in that cockpit with you, and what that felt like, and the exhilaration you experienced. Um, but other than that, I thought it was a wonderful speech, and look forward to many more. 